Whose bed sheets are these? They smell like asparagus. What? They're Steve's. But relax, we just need them to blend in with the locals. Where are we again? Ancient Rome, in the beautiful city of Pompey I. I. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Pompeii. Yeah. Uh, Andy, I'm like 67% Italian. I'm pretty sure I know how to pronounce Pompey I. I. But why here? What could we possibly need from this place? A recipe. This is where my ancestors are from. And apparently the first chicken parmesan recipe ever was invented here. So what's the plan? All right, me and you will feel out the locals and then I'll send the rest of the gang to go look for it. Wow, so we could see your great, 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 great grandma. Yep, and according to my mom, they live somewhere around here. Excuse me, do any of you go by the last name? DeMeo? Did you say DeMeo? Oh my gosh. There's a snack stand over there. Get over here. These people look exactly like you. Except for that guy. I'm adopted. What? They do? Huh. I don't see the resemblance. Greetings, fine gentlemen. Welcome to Pompey I. I. See, I told you. Home of our beautiful city and the majestic Mount Vesuvius. Oh, that's the volcano that destroyed this place. No, that, my friend, is a mountain. I'm pretty sure it's a volcano. No, it's a mountain. Volcano. Mountain. Volcano. Mountain. What about now? OK, we're all going to die. <laughs> Oh man, we're gonna die before learning anything about this place. Quick, give me the 411 on Pompeii, and don't you dare call it Pompey I I. No problem. Pompeii was an ancient Roman city located in what is now southern Italy. It was a popular city with homes, shops, bathhouses, and an amphitheater. The city was built five miles from Mount Vesuvius, the stratovolcano that devastated this city. Today, Mount Vesuvius measures over 4,200 feet tall. That's bigger than three Empire State Buildings, and it's believed to have been even taller before its historic eruption. The people of Pompeii did not even know Mount Vesuvius was a volcano, as it hadn't erupted in many years. Instead, they thought it was just a regular old mountain. But in the days prior to the eruption, the townspeople experienced earthquakes, which can be a telltale sign of an incoming eruption. In fact, a major earthquake destroyed the city of Pompeii a few years prior. Also, nearby wells and springs that normally filled with water had dried up because of the rising pressure from the magma beneath Mount Vesuvius as it prepared to erupt. Then, this massive eruption occurred in August in the year 79 AD. It's reported that the eruption occurred the day after the Roman festival Vulcanalia, a festival celebrating fire. Yeah, baby, Vulcanalia 79 AD. Let's put on some music to celebrate. Something else. Something else. Something else. It's like someone's trying to tell us something. What? During the time of the famous catastrophe, Pompeii had a population ranging from 12,000 to 15,000 people. Relax, everyone. The city is perfectly safe. You will all be totally fine. That guy's dead. But the rest of you are fine, I swear! What? Wait, didn't you send the rest of the gang to find the recipe? I did, but who knows where they are now? So is that like a charcoal face mask or... Mommy? What? We're doomed. Wait, I imagine some people made it out of this mess. There must be a way out. Well, not exactly. When the eruption occurred, molten rock and ash spread through the sky, turning it black. Volcanic lightning illuminated the sky as it spread around Mount Vesuvius. Many suffocated from volcanic ash, but it's believed that most were instantly killed by the intense heat of what is called pyroclastic flows, which are fast-moving avalanches of hot gas 
ash, and rocks that erupt from volcanoes and can move at speeds up to 450 miles per hour. And Mount Vesuvius had up to six of them in this event that lasted over 24 hours, with each pyroclastic flow reaching speeds up to 180 miles per hour. And each blast increased the temperature around Mount Vesuvius to 500 degrees Fahrenheit to up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. The plume of ash and volcanic gases ejected during this eruption reached a height of 21 miles. That's as high as 40 Burj Khalifas. Roughly 8 trillion tons of material rained down on the city of Pompeii, covering it in up to 20 feet of ash and pumice, which is volcanic rock. The energy released during this eruption is equivalent to 100,000 eruptions of the atomic bomb dropped in Hiroshima, Japan during the end of World War II. Many people in Pompeii couldn't escape and were buried in thick ash. When scientists later dug up the city, they found empty spaces where the people had been. By filling them with plaster, they created statues showing the people in their final moments. 2,000 people died during the eruption. And experts believe that when you include the nearby cities and towns, reaches up to 20,000 people. Today, Pompeii is a well-preserved archeological site. If you visit, you'll find a city frozen in time with buildings, streets, and even the remains of its people preserved under layers of ash, just as they were when the volcano erupted. Ugh, guess we'll never get that chicken palm recipe after all. Chicken palm recipe? Well, I have it right here. Hurry, tell me the recipe before it's too late. Okay, the first ingredient is halibut. Is he dead? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Like every video of mine, there's a super secret hidden coupon code in it. <laughs> Try to find it. If you do, you can use it to get money off on my merch, so good luck. Now on to my patrons on Patreon who keep this channel alive. Special thanks to you, Sunshine Sparkle and the Pups, Max C, Wesley C, Jackson Bear Welch, Bert, Kate, Ross, Lindy, and Pepper, the Gowdy Bros, and Mabsy, Erickson and Alexander L, Owen Pickle Symer, Jameson, Nolan, and Lily, Bodie Turner, CL and Django Henry, Ellie Moon and Noah Orion, Sammy Osif, Connor Pendergrass, William and Joe, Carter Levi and Fletcher Crawford, George, George Monkey Summers, Catalina Ryan from Dublin, Ireland, Max and Kaz, Gavin and Hayden Huggin, Burning Wick, Lava Liam, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Jack Hartzler, Jonah Adam Joyce, Rosalind and Stone Verrata, Stephen McPhee, Ben and Ollie, Sophie and Remy Keffer, Xavier Freeze, Roman, Mars, Odin, Tyson, and Mocha, Jack and his awesome dad, Gavin Meidel, Connor Lecoque and family, JJ Schmidt, Connor and Emma B, The Puffin Boys, Hawthorne and Willow Tree, Garrett Warner, Charlotte and Coulson, Ing Ing Watson, Sam and Eddie from London, Maddie Gator, Moon and Storm from Arizona, Alexander, Julian and David, Logan Miller, Asher Evans, Lucia and Camilla Buendia, Evan Lee, Layla Delgado, Gregory Shaw, Zane and Asher Davis, Connor Higgins, Paisley, Hanalei, Whitney and Brian, Liam and Evelina, Laser Rosen, Levi and Julian Cooney, Kuchan 115, Luke Raposa, Virginia and Harrison Way, Rebecca Beanie, Silas M, Sultan, Judy, Nora Rita, Oshi, Mika, Jordan and Maya, Teddy and Josie Burke, Aria Chaudry, Ocean Casey, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Lainey, Maddie and Henry, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Julian, Jackson and Jacob, Nolan Jordan, Lennon, Makotnet, Jones, Page, Avalon and Cash, Unshuman, Jonathan George Chesselton Kent, Toothless and Light Fury, Penny and Liam Drury, Jasper Soros Rex, Carter Levi and Fletcher Crawford, Solomon Caldwell and Asa Caldwell. Do you want to get your name in? I just said Nimmy. That's not even a thing. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in a video. Help me pick my videos. I keep messing up today. I'm sorry. The point is, you can get your name in a video and see some exclusive stuff. There's a link in the description box or just go to patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. Thanks for watching, guys.